what's going on? Today, we are taking a look at an accessory for your Microsoft Teams room or Zoom room. The device is certified for both. It is an AI-powered camera from Lenovo, the ThinkSmart Cam. In this video, we'll be unboxing the ThinkSmart Cam, taking a look at what it comes with, the mounting gear, etc. Then we'll do a device overview, taking a look at its capabilities, its specs, what it's capable of, We'll take a look at managing the device and connecting it to a ThinkSmart Hub for a full room solution. And finally, we'll record audio and video directly through the ThinkSmart Cam via USB. Let's dig in. The ThinkSmart Cam itself, right up top, plastic wrap, Mounting bracket, more mounting components, and more mounting components. And yet one more mounting component. Our five meter USB-A to USB-C cable, more mounting hardware, The washers, anchors, bolts for mounting. The final piece of mounting hardware. And of course, our quick start guide and safety and warranty guide. With all the components out of the box, we've got our USB cable at the back. These are the brackets that will allow you to mount to the arms that will allow you to mount the ThinkSmart Cam to the uh, top or bottom of a display. This will allow us to mount the device to the wall or it is used in the TV mount setup as well. Of course, the hardware to put all the components together. This is for the above display mount right here. These two options are for a below the display mount right here. And then of course, the ThinkSmart Cam, the star of the show right at the back. While the ThinkSmart Cam is a simple USB plug and play device, there are a couple different ways that we can mount this in the room. The first option I'll call out is the fact that it has hinges on it with the little lip up front that allows us and the rubber grip on the back that allow us to place it on the top of a monitor and adjust for the proper angle. On the flip side, we've got a wall mount with the little flat pieces of hardware that, we, that can all be put together and they will be used to attach the ThinkSmart Cam to a wall directly. Option D is our below monitor mount. We use those two bars. We use the wall mount piece and the flat pieces. We put them all together and that allows us to mount below the monitor. And finally, our last option is above the monitor. Again, we use those two bars. We connect that wall L-shaped bracket and then the two angled brackets come together, allowing us to run our cable through all the brackets, keeping it neat and tidy behind the display and we can then angle the ThinkSmart Cam to the proper angle at the top of a display. The ThinkSmart Cam is capable of up to 4K resolution at 30 frames per second or 1080p at 60 frames per second. It has a dual microphone array built in, giving it up to 5 meters of reach. The camera itself has a 100 degree horizontal field of view, but 125 degree diagonal field of view. The underside of the device brings that standard tripod mount hole right in the center. Coming around at the back, keeping things simple, we have a single USB-C port right in the center. For mounting the device to a display or simply adjusting the tilt when it's on one of its included mounts, we have the monitor hook right here, rubber grip on the back, branded red rubber down here for the back of the monitor, and we can set that right on top of a monitor or display like so. We will adjust it as we need to. And then once it's there, we can adjust even further by tilting the entire camera relative to the angle of the set uh, distance we needed for the display. Lenovo states that while we can use the ThinkSmart Cam on a standalone basis, it's really intended for the enterprise scenarios where it will be paired with a ThinkSmart Hub or a ThinkSmart Tiny Edition for a full room system. In such cases, or in all cases, I should say, we'll take the USB-C cable that we have and we will connect it right into the back of 
the ThinkSmart Cam. With that one cable in place, we've now got the other end that's USB-A. Now, if we have a ThinkSmart Hub, as the example we have here, we have this system, this cabling system, that connects into the side of the ThinkSmart Hub itself. So all these pre-put-together cables will slide right in like so and connect into our system. On the other end of that pre-configured cable system is this box with all these ports. We've got our Ethernet port, we've got HDMI ports, we've got USB-A ports, and we have our USB-C port right here. So we take that USB-A port from the ThinkSmart Cam and we simply plug it into one of our USB-A ports on this box. Once we have the ThinkSmart Cam attached and all of our other cables attached, there is an enclosure box that comes with the ThinkSmart Hub. We would then enclose all of our cables into that box, close it up, and mount the box under the table, most likely, and this is to prevent tampering with any of the ports or cables, making sure they all stay plugged in and they don't get accidentally removed or pulled out. For today's demo, we are placing the ThinkSmart Cam right at the top of our laptop. We're not really demoing it in a Microsoft Teams room. Now, to manage our ThinkSmart Cam, if you are getting it as part of a room package, then you can actually use the uh, ThinkSmart Manager, uh, which is you know a, a web-based portal where you can enroll your devices and manage them. Uh, as we are using this as a standalone device today, we are going to use the ThinkSmart Cam Control app, which you can download freely from Lenovo's website. We've got that on the screen here, and all we need to do is plug in the ThinkSmart Cam via USB, and the Cam Control app will detect it, and then we can start managing the device. There it is, it's popped in, and you can see that it is marked as healthy. Our firmware versions are on there, chip version, mic version, the connection, uh, no open issues listed out here, and then various device AI configuration settings over here. Now, obviously, we, we that's one of the big benefits of a camera like this is the built-in AI functionality. So that very top item, we want to keep that toggled on because otherwise it's just a 4K camera um, and we want to take advantage of those AI capabilities. So we keep that toggled on. For all these settings, if you are ever curious what they are supposed to be, you simply hover over them, over the little eye bubble there, and it will tell you what that capability does. Now, we've got the auto zoom and frame if we have AI functionality turned on, we've got auto zoom and frame. And this is just going to detect the number of people in the room and frame into them. That way, if someone comes or goes from the meeting, we don't have wasted space on the screen. We're framing in just the participants as they need to be. Speaker tracking. The little bubble here tells us that the camera works in combination with the auto zoom frame feature uh, to track the active speaker and zoom in on that speaker. So uh, this is actually, uh, I've tried this out in action, it follows me as the speaker around the room uh, so that as I'm moving around, it is staying with me. It's not letting me walk away and then cutting back over to me after a few seconds. It's actively following me around. Now, the description in here says that it will go to other active speakers as the speaker changes. I do not have other speakers in the room to test that with, so uh, we're gonna keep this on anyway so we can demo what it's like when it follows me around the room. Whiteboard recognition. Now, this is not the uh, intelligent um, content camera that we're thinking of when you go into the Teams room settings and say, I want a content camera, uh, where it will sit there and say, oh, here's the whiteboard space, cut everything else out, enhance the image, enhance the colors, what this does is detects if there is a whiteboard in the frame with the people. And then it won't frame only in the people, it'll include that whiteboard too, so that whatever context is happening with the people in the room and that whiteboard, it's being captured in the framed image. So it's kind of a unique type of whiteboard recognition uh, that the ThinkSmart Cam brings. And then we've got people count. And this is, of course, counting the number of people in the room so that you can surface analytics on if your rooms are being utilized. Uh, you can put up warnings if the rooms are over capacity for health and safety concerns. 
And I've got all of my AI capabilities turned on because I think they're all awesome. Uh, on the device settings, we've got this picture in picture. Now this says it's for diagnostic use only, which obviously it will make a picture in uh, picture uh, image. So I'm gonna turn this off, but just know that for uh, for diagnostic use, for troubleshooting, you can use this picture-in-picture -picture mode uh, to, to kind of figure out what's going on with the camera if you need to look into something. And then our power line frequency, we've got 50 or 60 hertz. I'll go ahead and leave it at 50. And if you've made any changes, you'll click save. You'll get a little configuration saved successfully up top. And there you go. That is managing the ThinkSmart Cam from the ThinkSmart Cam Control app. Okay, now we are demoing actually recording through the ThinkSmart Cam for our video. Uh, I'm using my blue Yeti down here for audio, but the ThinkSmart Cam is actually, this is the video that you see right now. So it has doing its auto framing to capture me in the room, but I'm gonna go ahead and walk around the room a bit. You will see me in my business casual, which includes dress shirt, but shorts. Uh, and I'm gonna walk around Keep in mind, we did select the speaker tracking, so you'll see the speaker tracking in motion, not just the auto framing. So as I get up, I will go to walk over to this area in the room, and I'm getting further from my mic, so my audio is probably not quite as clear and loud, but I'm gonna walk over this way, and the Think Smart Cam should be following my image as the speaker, and I will come back around and sit right back in the chair. And that should give you an idea of how the ThinkSmart ha cam handles not just auto framing, but speaker tracking as well. Some of that AI built in. And again, other AI features include the people counting and for diagnostic, pur diagnostic purposes, that picture in picture. Well, there you have it, the ThinkSmart cam from Lenovo. Hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please like it. Please share it all over your social media accounts. Subscribe to the YouTube channel if you're not already, handy link right below, and then turn on notifications because when I come out with other device overview videos, you don't want them to get lost in the noise. Thanks for tuning in, and I hope we'll see you back here for the next device overview video.